today we're going to be tying a treble hook trailer. So you can put this on the back of inline spinners, anything with a treble hook that you can replace the treble hook with. So what you'll need is a treble hook, a vise, a bobbin, a thread. I use black because it goes good with everything. A whip finisher, some scissors. In this case, I'm using crystal flash, but you can use feathers. Uh, you'll need head cement and a hair dryer. That's all you need. But I also like to have needles and tweezers. So what you'll do, you'll start taking your thread and securing the thread onto the hook and tie a thread base. The thicker you have this thread base, the less material that you'll have to use. So get that thread base a little thick, then you take your scissors, come here, clip off this tag end. So now we're going to do a royal blue trailer. So we're going to open up this. Pull out one strand of royal blue crystal flash. So now what we'll do, we'll take this, about an inch of it, put it right there on the hook, and wrap it one, two, three, four. You can wrap it more than that, but I just do about four or five. I right, take this back and wrap it a few times. And we got this tied in so we can cut that off and you get your thread to the front of the hook shaft and you can take this crystal flash it's tied in and start wrapping it around the thread so this takes a lot longer now you're starting out but whenever you get good at it you can do one in two three minutes so I'm starting out, so I'm not going to be super quick. Just going to put this in a time lapse for you guys, so you don't have to watch me doing this for two minutes. But you want to wrap this the whole way. You can taper it. You can make it all even. But you're just going to wrap it all around. You got to make sure that you have that you have. Some, that you're pulling a little bit on this crystal flash not so that it will rip but so it goes on nice and tight because if you get it on loosely there will be little loops and the loops will eventually just fish teeth get in there it will snap and then it will break and then they will start to fray and then you'll have a mess and your hook basically is useless well it will still work but your trailer looks like garbage then so you're just going to come in here, continue to wrap this all up, and I'll get back to you where I've finished wrapping. Now we're getting our trailer a little bit as thick as we want. So now what we're going to do, work the crystal flash to the front of the hook. So you take it behind and I go one wrap, two wrap, three wraps, four wraps. So this is nice and secured and then I do five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I I'd do at least ten. You want to do at least 10, so we'll just wrap this a few times. So then what you're going to do, take your wet finisher. If you don't know how to wet finish, you can look it up on YouTube, or if you ever want to see a video, I can make one. But then you just wet finish your... Oh. You will wet finish. I oh, just did it again. You will. Wet finish your hook one two three pull this crystal flash out of there 
and you're gonna pull up. Now what I'm going to do is I usually do double whip finishes just to make it a hair stronger. And just in case if one would ever come undone, I have two. So, just double whip finish this. Three. Let's get this thread up out of here. Just sometimes it can... It's a pain in the butt with more excess thread than this. You get it out. You get two there. Then what you do, grab your excess thread, I mean crystal flash. You take it and you're going to cut it off as close as you can. And that can be thrown away. And then you take your thread and cut it. So there you got your treble hook. You can use it just like that. Just throw it on something. But it won't last very long, it will rip up. So now we're going to put some head cement on it. I'll show you how to do that. And this will make it way stronger. And it will last way longer. So now what you'll do is you'll get your final, well this ain't final product yet. It's a pain in the butt to show you and get everything in focus how to do the head cement process. So what you'll do, you'll take your head cement, make sure it's thicker head cement, but you'll take that brush right along all of this then hit it with a hair dryer for a while until it solidifies up then you take a needle, poke it through the eye or something, poke it through the eye, make sure everything is out of there let it air dry for five minutes and then just to make it extra strong just do another coating then do the same thing then you want to let air dry for a few hours just curing. So I'm going to go do that and we'll come back with the final product. So it's been a while. We got our final product. So this is with the head cement on. It is nice and smooth. It's not all bumpy, no nothing. It's just nice and smooth. It's hard. If I can scratch it with my fingernail, it don't affect it at all, so that will help you catch a lot more fish. So, there you go, you got final, finalized treble hook with, uh, all you need is one, like one, two, three, four, five, only like ten things or so. You need head cement, hook, crystal flash, bobbin and thread, scissors, whip finisher, uh, tweezers, a needle, and a hair dryer. So there you go, we got this. It will look great on a spinner. If you guys enjoy this type of video, like fly tying videos and stuff, let me know. I'll be able to make some more of them and teach you guys how to tie some stuff. I'm not a fly tying expert, but I know how to tie some stuff. And I can make some videos on it. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. If you don't, if you aren't already, hit the subscribe button so you, so you're notified whenever I post some more videos like this. It will, it will really help me out. Hit the like button. Add a comment on what you think that I should do, like tying flies wise or whatever. And uh, thanks for watching.